Night, three days without power. That's what residents of a North Salt Lake community are dealing with right now. New specialist Andrew Adams is live with a story you're only seeing on KSL 5 tonight. Andrew, what's going on? Well, Dini, we're just standing off of Highway 89 in North Salt Lake next to this community known as Camelot. You can see, I just want to point you down the street. You see those flashing lights on the right? Those are work crews, says energy and infrastructure on the side of those trucks. They've been working at it hard tonight. Neighbors say they believe as much as a quarter of this community has been without power since early Tuesday morning. They say it's been causing some real problems. In a quiet neighborhood. I mean, we're all just trying to do our best here. It's a sound that says something is not right. We have a fridge and a freezer full of spoiled food. The generator is only enough to keep the essentials running. Both of us sleep with oxygen on, and right now we're not getting the power that we need to survive. Kevin Duke says the electricity went out sometime Tuesday morning. I had my CPAP on, and all of a sudden I woke up um, feeling like I was drowning. And ever since. So you can feel how hot it is in here without the air conditioning. It's been a struggle with few answers to when the power is coming back. And they just came and pasted it right on the glass. The notice from a manager says the electricity was disrupted in parts of the Camelot community due to heavy rain and winds. And the development is working actively with Rocky Mountain Power and electrical contractors to restore power. There are people that are probably between 10 and 20, maybe even 30 years older than we are, that have no power right now, no air conditioning. Duke says he feels the situation should have been resolved already and that managers should be doing more to help residents through a rough period. It is very frustrating and we're very disappointed. With a borrowed generator keeping the basics on for now, Duke is simply hoping something changes. We've basically had to do every single thing ourselves. We need this problem taken care of as soon as possible. Well, again, it does appear that crews are working as we speak, but we still have no idea exactly when this is going to be resolved. We did reach out to the property managers tonight for a response. We were told that somebody was going to get back to us, but as of this time right now, here at 10 o'clock, we still have not received that call just yet. Thank you. Sure.